What is up guys, Vortex TCG here, and today I've got the second round of locals featuring myself playing Shoutmon, Crossheart, OTK, and my opponent is going to be playing a brand new deck from BT12, it is Shine Greymon, and if you're looking forward to this gameplay video, please do like and subscribe, and uh, I think the next game is going to be a mirror match, so look forward to that in a couple of days time. Anyways, uh, my opponent is going to go into the Agumon, do some searching here. Not too familiar with the Shine Grey cards, but I know essentially they just delete a bunch of guys. <laughs> um, he goes into the X Antibody, doesn't get any search unfortunately. And so at this point, um, he's at one memory, so I think he's going to probably end up giving me either one or two memory on the for next turn but what he decides to do is actually go into the Geo Greymon to delete off the Shoutmon and while it is very excessive to do this I think it might have been the right choice uh, if I didn't have the Taiki uh, on the follow-up because uh, getting rid of the Shoutmon is uh is very important to say the least. I'll swing the Sparrowmon here and draw a card from the Pikmons it dies so it goes underneath the Taiki so I've got my resource loop going off here and at this point I'm just considering um, my options going forward so I go Grav Crush here so I can go into Taiki using the uh, Shoutmon and the Derulomon which allows me to look at the top three cards and add two cross art cards um, so I believe I'm at zero now because I had to use, um, yeah, I had to use free memory for that. So I then swing with the Shoutmon. Uh, it dies, but I get to save underneath the Taiki, which is very nice in this situation. And then I just play a Star Monster Pass, giving him five because I lose two memory due to the Gravity Crush. So. Either way, it wasn't going to be good, but I think if I didn't do the um, if I didn't do the X free play there, I think I could have I would have been a little bit more stuck, uh, especially as I think my hand wasn't insane. Um, he goes to the Geo Greymon, gets to play the Marcus here for free, and this Marcus is kind of nutty. I mean, I, I didn't really read much of the Shine cards, but it is what it is. Uh, he hits the Trio Tamer which uh, is pretty nice and it is at one in my deck uh, this version so kind of surprising swings another security hits a shoutmon so again uh, stuff staying alive here which is pretty important I would say to be fair because um, I mean it might not seem like a lot but just having the guys alive uh, actually matters quite a bit um, I hatch, put one underneath to draw one and gain one memory, go into a Starmon in Raising, just so I can prepare some rookies going into the next turn, if there is a next turn. It probably will be because I only have two memory. If I had more memory, I might have been able to do more potentially, but I don't think I'd be able to at this point. Um, I do have re two resetters though, so in the Taiki and the Trio Tamer, so feeling a little bit more confident. He, I swing into security, uh, I do hit a War Greymon, uh, I go into the X5 here, tapping the Taiki to use sources from underneath, um, using the everything essentially in the list, which uh, it costs zero, so I swing into the Geo Grey and do two checks with piercing. He uses the Huckmon, allows him to uh, draw an additional card, I believe, because he can't delete something. And uh, it does have reboot, so I'm okay about that. But I go Sunrise Buster here because I have the yellow source out. Uh, I play the Angie and then do uh, minus 6k to that. And then I don't have the Derulo. Uh, to pass the turn as well so uh, still got quite a lot of memory to play with my opponent so it could definitely uh, you know it could definitely mean quite a bit I think he chosen uh, he decided not to go for the Marcus here so I think um, still pretty rusty with this deck so the Marcus I think you have to promote here but I don't know if you can oh he, can, he does promote here um, I, I think at this point I just I, I didn't care. I was literally just like, yeah, sure, it doesn't really matter. Because um, I think it's start a main phase. Could be wrong though. Uh, he goes into Geo Grey, 
uh, then goes into the Rise Gray for two memory because he gains a memory for having a Tamer out. And um, yeah, it just really depends if he's able to swing for a lot of uh, damage coming up. So I think it's just considering his order here. He might be able to do something. So swings with the Marcus. Uh, also taps the Tai and Kari, goes to the Shine Grey for free, draw, so does two checks at 6k. Thinking if I should block this, but I know if I do, um, it will end up just uh, going back to the bottom of their security. So it doesn't feel very good, so I let it go through. It doesn't die, so that's pretty good for me if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, he swings with the Shine Grey, does the final security. And at this point, I don't think there's anything else he can really do, so he passes the turn and I win game one. We then get into game two, and my opponent gets to start off here. He goes into the Agumon in Raising and then goes into the new Agumon. Um, he forgot to do security, but I don't really care, to be honest. Um, <laughs> it, it's just a friendly, essentially. Um, not really playing for much out of my locals as is, so. Um, I go into Sparamon here, and then I also. Uh, play the Shoutmon here, so got quite a bit of resources, he goes into the X Antibody, reveals top 3, then he's able to add I believe one of the Greymons, so pretty much everything from this list that he has here, and um, he goes for the War Greymon I believe that is, Shine Grey, one of the things. <laughs> So he's got quite a lot of, he's got two rookies out, so he's able to do some damage potentially, but I don't think he would want to swing. He goes into the uh, Greymon, but he doesn't have the Tamer to play from it, so good for me, I guess. Um, I am considering if I want to promote, but I don't think I really want to because I don't really want to swing and then not have a Tamer out in play. Um, I just go into the, uh, the Akari, play the Derulo and delete what the um, remaining Agumon in play. So I'm able to get some advantage going on here. So I promote here. I uh, swing, draw a card. It does die, so I put it underneath the Akari. I swing again. Uh, it hits a... a well, there's two markers is there, um, which is very unfortunate. Um, is what it is, I guess, pretty much. Um, so at this point, I just got to figure out because I, I, I don't know if I don't know if the shine grid does piercing, but essentially just means that he's got two easy targets to go with the Marcus uh, on the following turn. So a bit worrying. But what I decide to do here is I go into the X4, considering um, all my cards. So I just go into using all the resources here uh, for a cost of one. Yep, just do it for a cost of one. And so I draw two, tap another to get another card from the Akari. And at this point, I'm feeling a little bit more confident because I've got a lot of aggression going on here, obviously. Um, so I swing with the X4, I draw a card from the uh, star. I'm just considering at the end of battle, do I want to reactivate and put them underneath. Um, so I'm just considering it here. Uh, so I decided to do it uh, to reactivate the Akari. It would have obviously been nice if I had the Taiki instead because maybe I could have done a full game, but I'm not feeling very confident at this point because I think um, with how things have gone, I think I'll end up losing on the following turn uh, due to him having the Geo Grey out essentially. So I don't feel very great about this uh, situation. So I just play the Zenjiro here just to provide a blocker. Um, I tap both of these to gain a memory and then draw a card, but it doesn't matter because he has the uh, other markers, Daemon. He decides to Digivolt, or not Digivolt, but promote Marcus Daemon as a Digimon himself. And um, this is where everything gets pretty nasty, I'd assume. Um, so he swings at security with the Geo Grey, popping these two to gain two memory which is uh, very, very unfortunate for me. He goes into the Shine Grey for two, draw, 
and uh, he goes into the X to delete the ballista so maybe I should have blocked with the Geo Grey might have kept me in the game maybe but um, doesn't wasn't I wasn't expecting the X anti uh, on the follow up quite frankly so here's what it is at this point um, don't think I, I don't know what I can do if I don't if I, I need to find very specific pieces so he's doing two checks um, obviously it doesn't die because the shine grey also does minus security I believe he swings for one check it's a shoutmon and um, yeah, it's not a, it's not a great situation, but he goes into a shine gray to pass uh, me to one. So at this point, I've got to have like some crazy thing. But unfortunately, as you might can see, I don't have uh, the Taiki out. So um, very unlikely for me to push for some sort of game this turn. And I, obviously, my opponent has game on the following turn. So. It's not a great situation to be in at all, so I think here I'm just considering all my options because um, I believe I do have a Gravity Crush, which I do use here, which takes me to three. Uh, I then play a Taiki, go to zero, use its effect, um, put the Shoutmon King version underneath, and add the X3. And uh, now it's just a case of do I have enough to um, enough memory to go into multiple shoutmons here it's probably unlikely unfortunately but you know you gotta try unfortunately not unfortunately yeah you just have to try <laughs> um, so just doing some calculations because I have the x3 in hand I could go into the x3 but if I don't have um, I believe Uh, I will go into using the Shout, the Ballista, the Derulo for an X3, tapping this to go to zero memory again with the Zenjiro. Reveal top three, add, get to add the Merva and the other card. Um, but again, I just don't think it's enough, unfortunately. So I swing, uh, hits into an Agumon, and... Um, yeah, I think I think I just can't do anything from this point onwards. So, just seeing if there is a way out potentially. Um, just got to get one more swing, um, but doubt I can find it at this point. And so, uh, I think I didn't have another another gravity crush in play or anything like that. So, I think here. I'm just seeing if I go into the Mervamon here because if I go Mervamon I can get double blocker but I don't think it matters because he just ends up getting the... well I get to block for, uh, four things, well not three, four things, three things essentially uh, but I also don't think I don't have enough in my trash so I'm going to scoop it here and we go to game three. And so we get into game three, and uh, we just got to hope that we draw pretty well here. So I go into the Akari just to play a Tamer early on, so I can have stuff as save. And I also get a decent draw from the Darulo as well. He goes to the Agamon and does a Searcher Agamon here. Allows him to add the X Antibody, and I believe he adds the Shine Grey as well. Not sure if that's a thing, but is what it is he then plays uh the tie i swing hits a marcus which is unbelievable it's just like what are you gonna do i swing with the derulo dies to the geo gray and security and uh yeah it, it just doesn't feel great does it <laughs> if i'm being perfectly honest so at this point i just play the taiki go to zero use its effect i'll put the i believe the sparamon underneath and then add oh no put the the other Derulo underneath to then uh, add the Merva and I think here we're just discussing like memory gain on the next turn so I just play Zenjiro here and play a blocker tap those two to gain a memory and draw a card so um, he gains a memory and draws a card from the tie BT6 time. He uses one memory to go into the Marcus Damon. 
promote him as a Digimon, I believe. And so I do have a blocker, so feel a bit, feel a little bit more comfortable in this situation for sure. Um, so I think it's in a bit of a rough situation because I think if he swings with the markers, I'll just block, and then it doesn't get it doesn't get back to security. So he goes into the rise gray. And the Rise Grey itself doesn't have the protection as the Inheritable, I believe. Um, so I'm just checking here with uh, my opponent because I think, I just, I, if I'm being perfectly honest, I haven't really dealt with Sh Shrine uh, that much. So he deletes the Shout and the... Uh, I don't know what happened there. Because I uh, think he, oh no, he swung into the shout one. Sorry, I thought he, I thought he just swung at security. I just didn't do the security check for a second there. Um, so he goes into the X antibody, um, proving I probably should have just blocked on the, um, on the first on the swing anyways because it's my bad really. Uh, he swings into security with the agu, hits uh, a ballista, plays another agu to give me free. Uh, gets to add here, I believe, one of the Greymons, and that's what he does. So he passed the turn back to me. I hatch, go into a Shoutmon here, and hopefully have a bit of an answer to this X antibody. So I go into the Taiki Kudo uh, using sources from underneath my Tamers. Got three there, got the stars, and also. Uh, I think this is for a full five, so for a zero cost, uh, gets to swing um, for two checks, it, uh, nothing dies, and I also get to draw from the star ones, which is very nice. And I play another Taiki here, uh, reveal the. I got a little bit confused here. I'm supposed to put one of the Sparamons underneath the Taiki and put one uh, to my hand. I think I'd do it in just a second here. Uh, yeah, that's where I do it there. Uh, my bad. <laughs> Completely forgot about that, um, if I'm being perfectly honest. And so I just play two Grav Crushes here um, just so I can get some aggression going. Aggression. And uh, yeah, at this point, I think I'm thinking about, I believe, the Merva here, or I could go into another Shoutmon, because if I go into another Shoutmon here, um, I think that really helps. But I think if I play the Shoutmon here, um, it essentially just means that uh, I have double blocker, which I don't think you can deal with. So I feel very confident in this situation because even if he does delete them, they do go under my tamers. So I should be able to promote the Shoutmon and then go into something like an X3 on the following turn. Um, so he loses, or he goes into the Geo Gray. Obviously, can't play another Marcus Damon. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> Marcus Damon is an insane card. I can't believe he just gets a Digivolve free when you swing, which is. Kind of crazy, um, but he swings with the Marcus, uh, thinking about the effect to Digivolve on top of something. Um, I believe here, I think he's just considering going to a level 5 potentially. He, if even if he goes into the Shine Grey here, I don't think he'll be able to fully delete. So he just decides to not Digivolve, so he does one swing. At 3k. And now it's just a case of uh, what else does my opponent do? So it, I think this is currently at 8k. And I'm just considering if I want to block it. Uh, I decide to not block it because I think. I mean, if I just have two guys out, he can't really do that much, I don't think. Um, he gains one memory from the Rise Grey. And. Um, yeah, a bit bit interesting. I think he said at this point that he misplayed because um, he could have played a different card, but uh, I think at this point he scoops and I win game three, winning the series.